So hello and uh, welcome. Today I'm talking about tripods. As you all know, I've had this tripod, or I don't know whether you all know, but I've had this tripod, the T365CM carbon fiber tripod from Sunway Photo. I've had this now for a couple of years and I absolutely adore this. I take it everywhere, I use it up hills, down hills, in water, in rain, in the sea, it goes everywhere with me. But Sunway Photo have sent me this. This is another one. This is the T3240CM. So this is the five, this is the four, pretty much the same size. Now, when I get out the box, you'll see that I've already had it out and I've already put a head on it. Obviously it doesn't come with this head, I use a geared head, a geared GH Pro. So in the box, you get a bag. It comes in a bag, really, really nice bag. Um, nice little pouch on the side. There goes my tripod falling over. In the little pouch, you get um, a little lens cloth, a couple of Allen keys, and some spare little tiny screws. And I'll show you what the screws are for in a moment. You also get this lovely, lovely little set of um, feet, spikes even. Now the spikes are better than most spikes I've ever seen. They're a nice um, alloy, but they have a rubber seal on the inside. Now you can't see this because of the sun shining on it. See if I can zoom you in and give you a bit of a look. So you can see them, they're a nice, chunky spike got a big round head on the top but it got a rubber seal in there so when you screw these on you don't get any water getting trapped inside the tripod and that's a good thing about this Sunway photo both of these tripods are exactly the same they both uh, have weather seals in them and you don't get any water inside the tripod I've had this tripod now this other one I've had this now like I say for a couple of years and there is no water that gets inside this they have rubber seals actually inside and I'll take one apart and show you also in the bag you get this. This is a 75mm half cup for a head. You can have the half ball head. Um, I've got one attached to this tripod. If I take the top off, I've got one attached to this tripod and it actually sits inside and all I have to do is swivel it around like that and that gives me the level that I want. Okay, so it comes with one of them as standard you can fit that on the top as it is i've got a slightly different level head on this one i fitted it on there yesterday so inside here we have the tripod this looks exactly the same as this one okay if i take the top off here you can even see i've got the same head on it just take it out of this bag it's a sunway photo head it's a geared head that i use but i've done videos on that if you want to see them i'll put a link up so you can see it's exactly the same as this one both very 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 similar both very very similar size in fact they're virtually exactly identical length as you can see there for exact same length exact same size this one seems a little bit wider on the top this one's definitely narrower on the top so the actual footprint on the top is slightly wider on the um, 36 rather than the uh, or should I say the 40 rather than the 50 okay the tops a bit wider it's also got a quick release removable top on this one other than that this is a five section so we have one two three four pieces so you've got one section at the top and three more four more sections inside that gives me five different sections to pull out for height okay this one is a four section exactly the same height which means that the top section isn't quite as thick and this one has got three sections or to three sections inside and any top one so this is a four section tripod okay you'll also hear when i'm doing that that let's loosen it off you've got a, a pumping action you can hear air what it's got is a vent at the top inside there which actually lets the air out expels the air when you push them back in so there's no resistance and they slide back in really really well like i said to you before inside here if i pull this out inside here if i unscrew this there is a rubber seal you can see it's red just on the end there and what the rubber seal does it stops any sand dust moisture getting inside the tripod and it works it really does work i've added a warm grip so i've got something to hold on to and i've also added my other items i use on my tripod all the time so let me give you some specs for this some sizes and some specs 
I've got them on my phone. I'm going to take my glasses off for this. Right, so we've got the model. It's the uh, Master Series tripod, the T3240CM for carbon fibre. It's a four section, which I just said. Tube diameters, 32mm, 28mm, 25mm and 22mm. That's your different sizes of carbon fibre, as you can see there. We've also got a leg height folded. Folded, it is 52 centimetres, 20 inches. That's how long it is folded altogether. Extended, it is 55 inches, which is 140 centimetres. Um, so it's quite a, a fair height, and I'm going to put them both out in a moment to show you the height of the two of them together. Uh, the platform diameter, which is the top, the top platform diameter, this bit up here, is 75 millimetres, and it weighs 1.5 kilograms. So it's a really, really light tripod. Um, for the size of it, it's one of the lightest I've ever picked up. For the size and the strength and the durability of this thing, it's one of the lightest I've picked up. It's not as light as it was because I've got quite a heavy head on there, but it's a very, very light tripod until you start building it up. Uh, weight capacity, it will take 25 kilograms, so it's going to take more than enough for anything. Uh, leg angles, if this is interesting to you, you've got 85 degrees, 55 degrees and 23 degrees. Now, the good thing with these tripods, and this is one of the things I really absolutely love about this, when you want to fold it out, you push it out and you fold it out. When you get to the top, it clicks back in and then it clicks into each section. So it literally stays out until you want it. You can push it back into the next one, but I always find I push it out, go to the top, and then get it into the position I actually want it into. Really do love this idea. I think it's fantastic. And why I'm on this subject, you have a, a quarter inch thread on the inside of all three of these legs. So you can attach anything to the inside. What I've attached to this one, and I haven't done yet on the other one, is a small ring just there. And what I do then is hang my filters onto it. So I must get one of those to put on the side. Um, it's also got a quarter inch thread all the way around. There's one this side, one this side, and one on this side, where I've got my um, arm for my video camera. Fantastic idea, which means you can attach anything to any side of the tripod. Absolutely brilliant. Underneath, you have a hook, which is absolutely fantastic. The reason I haven't put the half forehead on this one, and I've left it like it is, is I wanted to fold this down flat. I can go all the way down level, and I can fold this right down flat, and it goes all the way flat down to the ground. That's why I've kept this one as a, a, as a slightly different tripod to the other one. On the top of the head, you've got a three quarter inch thread. That's for attaching your um, ball head, geared head. I've actually got a leveling head attached to this one and it keeps it all nice and flat on the bottom. So like I say, I've got two tripods that do two different things. One right down to the flat floor um, and one's got about six, seven inches stuck underneath it. Water resistant, um, it, you, could, you can use this in the water. I'm not, it is absolutely fantastic in the water. It's, I was gonna say, the other one I've used in some really extreme weathers and it's been really, really good. Um, excellent stability, very, very strong. Um, this one is probably not gonna be quite as strong as the other one because it's slightly narrower, but it is very, very solid. Very, very solid indeed. I said about the feet, you literally unscrew these. And again, these have got rubber seals in them. I'll take them off and I have spikes on the bottom of mine permanently, like that. Never take them off, use them in all conditions. I much prefer the spikes than I do rubber feet. It will go flat down to the floor to three inches, three inches off the floor. That's completely flat. First section, normal section, which is normal legs out, just one section out. It is 19 inches. Go up to the next section, two sections out, goes 30 inches, then 42, and then 55 inches. And 55 is more than enough, it's quite a decent height for the tripod. And my other one goes slightly higher, obviously, because you've got that extra section to take you up even further still. But if you want a lightweight tripod, this is definitely the one to go for. What else can I tell you? You can buy a center column for it, you can drop a center column in. Again, I don't use them, so I don't worry about it. Right, so I want to try and show you a little bit more about what's on this tripod because it's not really easy to see in the dark, is it? So I've stepped outside. Hopefully you can hear me because it's very, very windy. So like I say, I mentioned the uh, the top plate can be changed for the half ball head. What you've got is these tiny little screws in the top, which you get spare ones. There's six little screws. You take these six screws out, this tall head piece comes out and then you fit the other head inside. Then you can use your ball head 
um, inside that. So let's go for height. What have we got for height? This is my other one, and I'm gonna start with that first. So I'm gonna drop out the five sections, and this will show you the difference. I'm gonna drop out four to start with, just to give you an idea of what this is like for height. And uh, it's a very, very strong tripod. I'm not even gonna lie because I have to put my name to this and I really, really recommend it. So I'm gonna stand that up like so, not easy because I'm on a bit of a bank. So that's four sections out on this one and I'm gonna extend all four sections out on this one to show I can show you. Bearing in mind that my tripod's got spikes so it's actually two inches higher than this. And this is brand new and it's exactly the same as my other one. So if I stand that there, you can see that these are both exactly the same height at this. So they both come up to the same height with the four sections. But this one has the added bonus of the extra section, which I use sometimes, but this is more than enough. I can stand next to this and you can see this is more than enough for head height and working with a normal tripod. So I'm going away next week, I'm going over to the Faroe Islands, this is the one I'm going to take with me once I put the spikes on it. This is going to be a slightly lighter, slightly easier to carry up the higher hills because it is a little bit lighter and still as sturdy as this thing. Because don't forget, that's an extra section longer, so it's got a little bit more wiggle to it. But they are very, very strong tripods and very, very well made. Totally pleased. The rubber does not twist. It's a solid twist grip. It locks on half a turn and it's really quick and easy to use. Those rubbers have not moved on this one one little bit in two years. All I can do is put the specs up on the screen for you and price. I'm waiting for a price to come in. So once the price comes in, I've got a UK supplier now for both of these tripods. Um, if you're interested, drop us a comment, drop us an email, drop us a line, and I'll get back to you. I'll pass on your details to him and he will send you a price direct. Um, and an invoice but we have got a UK supplier now so if you're interested in a tripod from Sunway Photo now's the time to get one. I think this is in the region of £450 but don't quote me on that I'll put it up on the screen for you as soon as I find out. So yeah that's what I wanted to do just show you this tripod the T3240CM compared to my other one which I've had now for two years and absolutely love it. Buy one that's all I can see. Don't forget to like and subscribe give us that thumbs up it really means a lot Ciao for now, see you soon, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have a play with this one, because it's definitely easier than carrying this one around. <laughs>